In this program, we're going to learn about environment. What is an environment? An environment is a collection of living and non-living things that live in a certain area of land or water. The planet Earth has many different kinds of environments. Scientists divide environments into smaller groups that have similar characteristics. For example, environments that are dry and get just a small amount of rainfall each year are called deserts. Some desert environments, like the Sahara Desert in Africa, are hot and dry. Other deserts, like Antarctica, are cold and dry. Grassland environments are found all over the world. The savanna in Africa is a grassland environment. Various types of animal species have learned to survive and flourish on the savanna. The prairies of America are grasslands too, and home to many different kinds of mammals, birds, and reptiles. Many places on Earth are covered with dense trees that make up forest environments. There are many different types of forest environments. Located near the equator, tropical rainforests are hot and wet. While in the colder climates, coniferous forests flourish despite low temperatures and harsh winters. Wetlands are environments where the land and water blend together. Wetlands go by different names, including bogs, swamps, and bayous. Oceans make up 70% of the Earth's surface. The ocean environment is home to some of the strangest plants and animals on Earth. It's important to know that environments change over time. Environments can change with the change of seasons, from fall and winter to spring and summer. Dramatic changes can happen as well. An erupting volcano can change an environment in a matter of hours or days. People can change the environment too. Unfortunately, some human activities are hurting the environment. Factories and cars cause the pollution of air and water. The cutting down of trees destroys forests and changes the environment for all living things, while overfishing is a threat to the oceans. These are all environmental problems that need to be solved through environmental conservation. A conservationist is someone who works to save or conserve things in the environment. Today, you will hear people say that we need to help protect the environment. And what that means is the whole Earth environment. You see, all environments are connected to each other. Now that you better understand environments, think about this. How can turning off a light in your house or recycling a water bottle help the environment? Think about it.